up YouTube welcome back to the channel uh let's get housekeeping out of the way uh first things first that was my new watch do apologize first things first uh shout out to my bestie Sabina it was great seeing you yesterday uh fantastic really great seeing you yesterday made my day um big shout out to my kid sister Shade who celebrated her wedding anniversary uh, a few days ago and commiserations to all Arsenal supporters worldwide. Yes, we bottled it. Speaking about bottles, I've got some new fragrances to reveal and something a bit extra, which we'll get to. So this is the first package. Let's get it open. I've got trusty Excalibur here, which is the wrong way. There we go. Um, Let's see if I can slightly do this slightly off screen. And get that done. Ooh, this was actually quite easy. Right, so here we have it. Um, there is a lot of Arabic writing there. Now this is from my favorite perfume house, Latafa. Uh, and this one is called Amir. Our oud, so which translates to uh, a mere intense oud. Uh, Audi Puff from concentration, 100 mils. I've been hearing a lot about this, so it has been on my watch list for quite a while. The package in itself, uh, nothing really to write home about, but you know, it's all about the liquid content inside. So let me get this open and Let's see what we think about it. Okay, um, and it's got an extra piece of sellotape there, factory sealed, which definitely fills me with confidence. Right, uh, this is a bit more tricky than it should be. Uh, I'm gonna end up, I thought I was gonna rip the pack, I didn't. All right, so we've seen the packaging. Nothing really to write home about. And even the bottle is fairly bland. And, but let's just see what it smells like. So my favorite way of testing, oh, that is a very heavy cap. Magnetic, it's well, slightly magnetic. Let's put a few shots in the atmosphere. And for you guys, whoops. Wait for it. Oh, don't have to wait long. I like this. It's, oh, I don't, how do I describe it? Kind of powdery. Mm, you can tell the oud underneath. I do like this. Um, let's get it on, whoops, one stick too many. Let's get it on the scent strip. But I'm not even disappointed already. I like this. I find that when I'm testing out a new fragrance, I kind of get a better perception of it from when I spray it in the atmosphere. Mm, but this is nice. Uh, this might be my scent for tomorrow. This is really nice. Right, let's find out the, um, the notes on this, uh, which I do have pre-populated. Where are we, Safari? Uh, and well, I did have it, it's gone. Hang on a minute, I will find it, don't worry. I'm just gonna have to key it back in again. I did have it ready. Do apologize about this. Is that it? Nope. So let me just quickly type it in. Um, and make sure I get my spellings right. Okay, I did have it. This is bit annoying because it was actually to a mere ow ah there we go uh aha excellent right sorry for the slight delay but we do have it here um right so 
It's described as an amber fragrance for women and men, so unisex, and it was launched in 2021, so it's a fairly new scent. Top notes are woodsy notes and agarwood oud. Middle notes are sugar and vanilla, I definitely get that. Base notes are agarwood oud, sandalwood, and herbal notes. I don't really get the herbal notes. What scent stick was I worth using? I don't really get the herbal notes, but um, yeah, I I do like this. Uh, definitely something I would buy again. Um, it's got this kind of slight boozy, slight caramel chocolate kind of scent, but I do like this, highly recommend. Um, I think in the Middle Eastern table, this comes up about number three or so. Okay, so this I do like, and I'm really happy. Now, where is my other package? Oh, right, there you go. Try not to knock anything down. Well, I knocked my iPad down, but not to worry. Right, so let's get this one open. This one um, was brought to my attention by another person, but we'll get to that. Let me just get this open. Bubble wrap. And this is uh, Badi Al Oud. Uh, so there, there you go. There you have it. Okay. Now I got to know about this through something else that I bought probably about a year ago. And uh, this always gets rave reviews. This is um, La Tafa's Oud for Glory. Okay and which is quite nice but uh, the hype around it i think is a little bit over the top now this is meant to be some form of kind of rose scent uh let's get it open and i think i'm gonna get have to get rid of all the cellophane because i won't be able to open it let's get that done oh slight dent there not too happy can you see that boo <laughs> Uh, and this is Oli Parfum Concentration, 100 mils. Get it open. Very, very nice, simple, kind of sophisticated pr um, presentation. I do like it. Uh, but more importantly, uh, what we got here? Oh, some form of card. I'm not... Actually, let's just open this because I'm actually curious what is this is. Uh, and it might actually be nothing. <laughs> uh, it's just a no. Nope, it looks like it's. I thought it was a leaflet of some kind, but it doesn't seem to be anything. Right. Usually they do put leaflets in their packaging. Uh, I might have left this one out. Yeah. Solid bottle. Um, solid cap. Slightly magnetic. Let's see what it smells like. Now I've got. I'm out oud in the air, so but let's weave slightly to this side. One, two, three, and you guys. Oh, um, it's pleasant enough. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna use a new scent strip. I've got. It's pleasant enough. Mm. Oh, definitely the rose. Definitely, oh, this is nice. Definitely the rose. A two out of two. Definitely smell the rose. Um, it does have a slightly chemical opening. Um, oh, but it is nice. It is nice. Let's, uh, this I'm going to put on skin. Let's put it on the strip first. Mm, I do like this. It's quite soft. Uh, put some on skin. Yeah, it's quite soft. Let me just pick up my <laughs> iPad, which is on the floor. And, sorry, I know I'm off camera. Uh, voila, I'm back. And let's talk about the notes. Uh, let's have a look. And would you believe it has gone again 
go. Come on. Is that it? Nope. We're going to have to quickly type it in. It's gone. Um, so. B-A-D. E-E. All right. Uh, hopefully it should come up. Yeah, got it. We are back on track. Unisex scent. Um, and... The main note is rose, which I, which is what I didn't mention. So they describe it as an amber vanilla fragrance for men and women. Uh, not that old, launched in 2021. Now, top notes are pink pepper and bergamot. Middle notes are Turkish rose. You so get so much of that. Bulgarian rose and uh, yasmin. Base notes are agarwood, oud, amber and vanilla. Mm, yeah. Definitely a unisex scent, I think, but yeah, men and ladies, there wouldn't be an issue with this. I would go on record as to say it's an all-season scent. I do like it. I think I've definitely got a preference for this, but this is nice. So, two out of two uh, this episode, so I'm quite pleased about that. Now, um, last week, I was very harsh about this this is the uh my hair legacy by same uh, house La La Tapa. i'm actually wearing this today oh that rose is nice i'm wearing this today and i will say i was definitely harsh i think i gave it a four out of ten i think i'll adjust that mark to a 7.5 it is nice um still don't know if i'd buy it again but it is nice uh those two i would definitely buy again Right, so let me just place that down carefully. And then what I would like to do is, once I can get that in position, is I've been concerned about how I have my perfumes arranged or displayed, for want of a better word. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the video and then change the camera angle. So won't be a second right i am back and what we have is my new display stand so if we add what i've just unboxed right now so we'll put that there and we'll put this here uh, i'm still going to arrange it so that's my new display stand uh it's does what it says on the tin. Um, obviously, I will be getting more. I'm, I'm quite happy with it. And um, so I probably will get two more and just put them put them close to each other. Now, for <laughs> what you could describe as a plastic contraption, I think I got it off either eBay or Amazon. I actually thought it was very expensive. But have, having said that, it does do what it says on the tin. So I'm quite. it does show them off quite well. The only issue I have now, being a bit of a hoarder, is I'm reluctant to throw away all the boxes. Um, so I'll think about that if I'm going to throw them away or not. But yeah, that's that's about one third of my collection. Um, yeah, so um, we are going to end on that note. I, I am very, very pleased with the stand. Uh, I'm actually very pleased that this video is actually going to come in at under 10 minutes. Um, thank you all very much for subscribing. Oh, well, those who haven't, please subscribe. But thank you all very much for the support. At the moment, I'm approximately have 320 subscribers. Before the year ends, I would like to be on a thousand. So I will keep the content coming. So please share the videos with your friends and family. Uh, once again, thank you very much for watching. I should have a new episode out uh by the end of the week um have a productive one compadres see you in the next episode goodbye now